Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. I'm Quinn and it is officially Christmas season. I have my Christmas sweater on, I have some Christmas socks on, I have some pretty gnarly seasonal allergies, and I thought that it would be really fun to make a Christmas stocking on the Centro for my super cute sleeping puppy over here. So I think in my first video that I ever made, I was going over like everything I made in 2022. And some of the things that I made were these stockings. So you may have seen them before. I made these for me and my partner and Daphne does not have one yet. So I thought that I should make her one because she deserves a stocking. She's a part of the family. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I got a bunch of yarn at the store. I have my design all ready and figured out. It's obviously a different color scheme than the stockings that I made before, but since I'm kind of like the design is similar to these two stockings I made before, I'm hoping that it'll look harmonious. So I guess I can walk y'all through my design a little bit. I'll put a picture of it on the screen because you cannot see it all the way over there. So basically, I'm just gonna make a big long tube, switching colors every so often, and then we're gonna go into the heel, but then after the heel, we're just gonna continue on making a, you know, tube, and then we tighten one end of this big long tube that we have, and that creates the toe. And then I'm gonna go in and just duplicate stitch all of these designs on here because I just don't have the mental capacity at the moment to like really plan this out stitch by stitch. That's how I did all of the designs on my other two stockings that I made before. And I think it looks great and it was just a lot easier to do it that way, at least for me. So that's what I'm gonna do this time too. So this blue is the main color I'm gonna be using throughout this stocking. I think that this is the same yarn I used for the main color on my stocking, except for in green. So I I think it will work on the machine. Let's hope it kind of feels like yarn that won't work very well on the machine. So I'm just gonna cast on, I'm not doing anything too fancy yet. When we do the heel, that's the fancy part. But you know, right now, like I'm just, it's just like cast on, make a tube. So my suspicions about this yarn were sort of correct. It's a little challenging in the machine. I don't know why, because like, I swear, this is the same yarn I used for my stocking last year. Just, it's just a different color. So I don't know if it's just like, this color is bad in the machine for some reason. But you know, like I just started, so I think I'm just gonna take this off the machine and try to re-knit it with a looser tension and see if that would possibly help this at all. I got the first color block section of this done and wow, was that a challenge. So I tried to, you know, make my tension looser and that helped by making this yarn possible to knit. Without making my tension so loose, I would not have even been able to knit this yarn. I'm gonna switch to this color brown yarn now. Hopefully this one will work a lot better because that would be really, really nice. Although I do still have to use this blue for like most of the stocking. Good news is this brown yarn does work pretty well. Bad news is I have to switch back to the blue yarn now. 
because that's my main color. But like, what the heck? Like, the, uh, are they not the same yarn? It's literally the same yarn. It's just a different color. I don't really know what's going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna be at peace with this yarn debacle and I'm just gonna deal with it. For now, I am gonna actually go move on over to the couch and get really comfy. I want a snack. I'm very hungry. I'm gonna make some like hot water for my throat and probably put on a show. And that means we're breaking this thing out. If you saw my video a few weeks ago, I don't remember what video it was honestly, but I realized that I can hook up my Centro here to my TV tray and so I can sit on the couch and use my Centro and watch TV because it's just a lot comfier to sit on the couch than it is at my desk. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a snack. I'm gonna continue knitting my tube and then we'll deal with the heel with the yarn that's not really working. Yay! to the point where I need to start working on the heel of Daphne's stocking, but it is getting pretty dark outside and I am getting really tired. I just kind of want to go and finish this movie that we're watching. We're watching the commentary track to Twilight Eclipse, just by the way, and Daphne and I are having a fight over Team Jacob or Team Edward. She's Team Jacob, I'm Team Edward. It's a whole thing, but I kind of want to finish this movie really quick. I don't really want to work on this anymore, so. I'm gonna go and sit on the couch and finish watching um, the commentary track to Twilight Eclipse and I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning. It is time to start working on the heel of this stocking. I am very nervous. I don't know how well it's gonna work with this blue yarn, but let's just give it a try, shall we? I am not gonna teach y'all how to do this heel on the stocking because I don't really feel qualified because I've never actually done this before. I've watched a lot of videos and I will link a video for y'all. So if you want to know how to do it, then just uh, look at the link in the description. I'm going to just follow those instructions exactly. And I'm going to hope for the best with this yarn. Ooh. Ah, I already almost screwed up. Okay, I've done like the first half of this heel now. Honestly, like all things considered, it went pretty well. It's a lot of work, but it's really cool looking. I'll bring y'all in closer in a second so I can show y'all what it looks like. See how like this is swooping down like this? Like this blue is way longer on this side than on this side. That's the heel, I did that. I'm very proud. The heel is finished. That was quite the process, but it's done. So from here on out, everything should be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I just need to knit a few more rows of this blue and then a few rows of the white and I can take it off the machine and finally get started with the duplicate stitching. I got my stocking off of the machine and the proportions are very odd, I think. I need to figure out exactly like how to fix this because like I don't want to redo all of what I just did. Okay, first I'm just gonna tighten the bottom of this. So this is the toe and all you do for that is you pull on this little string from your cast off. 
you're, it's like making a beanie, you know? And then eventually I'll go in and like sew it so it doesn't come undone. That just looks odd to me and I don't really know what to do about it. I don't know, maybe I'll just like go in and start doing some of the duplicate stitching. Maybe when I have more stuff on here, like more of a design rather than just this color blocking, it'll start to look cuter and not so weird. You know, I, like it just looks weird. Daphne and I have sat down to watch Breaking Dawn part one with the commentary. She's clearly very interested. I'm just gonna keep duplicate stitching while I watch a movie and eat a snack. Do y'all wanna know a fun fact? I'm lactose intolerant. I've been working on this stocking all morning and I wanna show y'all my progress. I was very worried about this yesterday when I took it off the machine because I was like, this looks ridiculous. It's so gigantic and I just like, I didn't like how it looked. But I decided to just stick with it, trust the process. Plus I really didn't wanna have to redo the whole thing because that's a lot of work. And now that I'm doing the duplicate stitching, I actually like, I'm starting to really like it so I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I do need to really focus on this and try to get this done today though because we need to take like a family Christmas photo, me, Jared, and Daphne for a family member's Christmas card that they're doing. And I really wanna have this done and in the background because I thought it'd be so cute if I could like hang up all of our stockings by the fireplace and then we could all take a picture in front of the fireplace and that'd be so cute. So I do really need to finish this because they need that picture like ASAP. And so my goal is to finish this whole thing today. Also, you know how I ate a bunch of cheese yesterday and also that I'm lactose intolerant? I think you know where this is going. On this for so long last night and I did basically finish it and I will show y'all what it looks like in a little bit but I still need to do a little loopy for the corner here to like hang it up on the, our mantelpiece over our fireplace and you know I was working really hard on it last night and we we tried to take some pictures in front of the fireplace for like little Christmas pictures to send to our family member who's doing like a Christmas card and I forgot to put the stocking in the background. did not even turn out because we couldn't get Daphne to like sit in front of us in a nice way. So I like pushed myself to get this done really quickly, kind of for nothing, but it is nice to just kind of have it all finished. But I do need to finish that little loopy really quick. I'm just gonna make a little crochet line basically, like it's gonna be really easy and just kind of hook it on to the corner here so that we can hang it up and then it'll be done and I can show y'all our finished little stocking for Daphne. Okay. It's all done and it's so gigantic. It doesn't even all fit in the frame at one time. I think with all of the duplicate stitching on here, it doesn't look so odd like it looked before when I, you know, right when I took it off the machine, it just looked pretty goofy. And I think with all the decoration on here, it doesn't look as goofy. Like it still is really gigantic and it is much bigger than the other two stockings that I made, but I think that it looks cute, you know? Like, I think it looks really good. And it has Daphne's little initials here. It's a little dog 
these are bones that's what i was going for and then just a bunch of snowflakes because christmas and winter and yeah but do y'all want to see um a little a little secret i didn't do the back and i'm not gonna my other two stockings that i made last year too like the backs are basically not done but like you know like you, you can't even tell you can't see it so it's fine i just don't want to I don't want to spend more time doing it and and I got my COVID and flu vaccine earlier today and my arm is sore so I just I don't want to so now I can hang this up over the fireplace with the other two stockings that we have and it'll be a little family of stockings it'll be so cute it's putting me in the Christmas spirit I'm just really happy with it but let me know what y'all think of Daphne's stocking and would you try out making a Christmas stocking on your Centro 2? I would highly recommend. I think it's a lot of fun and they are super cute. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a like. And if you enjoy Centro content, then consider subscribing. I make a lot of Centro content. I hope you'll have a great rest of your day. Happy holidays and I'll see you next time. Bye.